All right, look everybody. I saw something the other day that really, really pissed me off. Coming out of my, court, my regular grocery store and there's a manager yelling at a person who's sitting on the side outside. He was charging his phone, the phone was at 13%. It was cold, he was homeless, she was treating him like dirt. She was trying to kick him out. So what I did, instead of sitting there watching her berate that person, I walked in, grabbed the phone charger, brought it out, picked up some chicken, handed it to him, and crouched down to help him out. And the reason I did that is because what I saw instead of some person yelling at some homeless guy and everything, I saw a cold, shivering man, absolutely freezing, who was hoping for just a little bit of peace of kindness. And that's what we really need in this world right now, is we need a lot more kindness. We see people yelling back and forth at people on Twitter. We see people yelling back and forth on Facebook. Hell, we have people yelling back and forth in our own governments, treating each other like absolute and utter garbage. So why are we, abs why are we doing that? A lot of people are hurting right now, and when it comes to trying to understand the different things that go with women's rights, black rights, white rights, all people's rights, there's a lot of governments who are straight up messing that up. For example, you have some places in the Middle East where a woman can't even wear a head garb. And when it comes to the religious aspect, okay, believe in God, totally understand, and believe in God too, but you're being an asshole and not listening to somebody who's saying, look, we're allowed to take our headband off. You don't have to go and be super religious about that thing. So update your book. There's things that we can do as humans that are perfectly fine and acceptable that were once shunned upon, but we can do that now. And we need to quit doing this shit. In addition, we have half the world rioting right now because their governments are being absolute assholes to each other. Like some other stuff that's going on. And I'm reading this right from my phone because a friend of mine sent me this. Turns out that in the Himalayas, there's a guy who's actually working some of the cases out there where, where kids are being sold into child slavery and child marriages because their parents can't afford and don't have any other type of work. Like, there are no options. In addition, you have the current war that's going on with Russia and the Ukraine. You have all sides sitting there yelling, believe this side, believe that side. You've got hackers who are trying to manipulate public opinion and public perspective and say, oh, this thing's real, that thing's real. You've got people who won't believe the truth and some aspects of it that they might actually kind of be wrong on some things as opposed to trying to take it personally and just being jerks about it. You've got folks, again, who are yelling in the White House, who are yelling at every part of the government, doing shady deals behind the doors in order to keep certain things hidden and classified so that you don't find out and understand what's really going on. But looking at if anything that Tom, that Tom, Lou, and Greer are talking about, there's a lot more going on here that we really need to understand. And it's not something that we need to come together and fight each other about. We have to come together as humanity all as one. And like that's the biggest problem right now is like we're not. And from my perspective, whenever I kind of kick and complain that, hey, we need to understand about, we need to work Nigeria for all, we need to understand that. It's not me saying, hey, look at all the money that's being lost. That's me sitting here trying to say, look, there's a lot of really, really bad stuff going on here right now, and we need to work it out and figure it out. Because personally, the stuff that I've seen and everything is absolutely horrible. And like uh, that man who was sitting there freezing his ass off, we need to start caring about each other. And until we do that, absolutely and utterly nothing is going to change. And like... I'm serious. Nothing will change from here on out unless we actually start being kind to each other. You've got people who are yelling back and forth. People, you've got people riding here, riding there. Be nice. Like, seriously, just be nice. Be kind. Be excellent to each other because we're all we have. And I wasn't planning on doing this long rant. I wasn't planning on doing this motivational video or whatever we want to call it. But, like, that's the honest truth is we need to quit being jerks to each other. And when I started this YouTube channel, that's kind of what I wanted to do, was kind of rant on different things and topics like that that really bug the crap out of me. And it's, but again, it's things where it's the right fight. It's the right answer. So I'm finally feeling better. I'm hoping to kind of start doing more content like this. And again, if it's something where people like, just be excellent to each other. Ronnie McGrath, calling out a lot of crap and garbage that's happening in the world. Out. Cheers, y'all.